Good morning. I hope everybody's well. You find me today on a quite rare for me, rare occurrence for me, is a Saturday morning ride out. Uh, it's the last Saturday in July. Uh, 29th, yeah, 29th of July. 23, we're into this latter part of 2023 now. Blimey, mean, where's this year gone? Into the latter half, I should say. Um, and I want to stand the scram. Um, there's a couple of reasons I wanted to have a ride out today. One, the sun shining. Um, two, is I've just done a few mods to stand the scram. And I'm just... Uh, just a bit of a check and a test ride really so what have I done uh, mirror extenders I can actually now see what's behind me so I've fitted mirror extenders uh, I've fitted a headlamp uh, guard which I'm really pleased with it looks absolutely great and we'll probably have a look at that when we stop I've fitted uh, um, engine guards, nice pair of engine guards again, we'll be have a look at that when we stop uh, and I've fitted um, a DNA air filter and that was the main reason I'm out today to give it a little try I want to try and see if the, if the change of the air filter has made any difference so I've only done about eight miles since I left home so far and it does feel ever so slightly different seems to have a bit more pull and a bit more uh, response as you pull away in first gear definitely a little bit more there I think it sounds slightly throatier as well uh, a more uh, throaty sort of engine exhaust notes, does that make sense? And um, I think it does have a slight bit more pull, so that's no noticeable difference in acceleration. It just seems a little bit easier. Very it's very nuanced. The changes in terms of riding it and trying to de remember what it felt like before it doesn't feel significantly different but there's definitely a, a slight improvement in responsiveness to the throttle I think so yeah I'm just trying that's part of the reason there definitely more a little bit more responsiveness in first gear pulling away and it pulling really nicely I think, uh, uh, is it worth the money to change it I don't know I don't know, the way I look at it is it can't do it any harm. Probably needs another mod, just if you want to squeeze a little bit more out of it, it's probably the cam. Or uh, the, you can change the cam. Or a bit of fleet, fleet, free flowing exhaust. Which eliminates the catalytic to converter. I think that would probably be the other thing that potentially I might want to do to it. We'll see. But that's the only sort of non-cosmetic change that I've made to it is the fitting of the filter. The rest have all been uh, to help the look and to, and to provide a bit of protection really and to help me to see what's behind me, which is always important. So uh, yeah, as I say today, it's uh, I'm not going to be out for long. Just wanted to have a have a ride on the scram because I haven't been on it since we got back from the Isle of Sky 
tour, which is what, three weeks now? Three, four weeks ago. Seems to be a dim and distant memory now. And it's just have a little, uh, a little play on Stan. It's, uh, I really do love this bike. In fact, there's something about it, and uh, just love it. Absolutely love it. We're watching David J's video about his CL500, and uh, yeah, if you need the extra power, I think that's the one you want, you want to go for. Um, we just need to see what the Triumph 400 looks like, but I think the, the CL500 is uh, from David's. Uh, sort of reviews and um, demonstrations or his rides on it yeah if you want that extra power and we're talking extra, extra 20 brake horsepower really compared to this bike um, I think that's the one to go for I'm sort of got to the stage where I'm not really bothered about the extra power I'm, I, I spend I get much more pleasure now from hooning around away from uh, the main roads, the main drags, definitely avoid motorways, it's all possible. Um, and if, when the RSI sort of, for me, showed what the spice capabilities are, and the Hunter 350 to be fair with Paul, and uh, it's just lovely. It's a, it's a, yeah. If, if, you, if your purpose is just to mooch around, bimble around, then this is the bike for you. If you want a bit more power, but still want to bimble around, but you know, have that bit of extra power for the, for the main drags and stuff, and for, for back lanes, then I think the CL500 looks to be um, the choice that you probably want to be looking at. And, uh, have a look at David J's video. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably leave a link to it here. Um, where really he gives you a very, very good um, uh, pricey of uh, of the bike. And the colours. I love the colour of the green. Uh, it's, uh, right, where am I? Who knows? Who cares? Can we go this way? Why not? Who cares? We're moving. Well, as I said, oh, as I mentioned earlier, just an update with what I've fitted to the Scram. Little modifications, additions. Just the mirrors, the mirror extenders. They give me some uh, useful rear vision now. Really good. Only very slight, but enough to allow you to see what's going on behind. So there's those. And then we've got the uh, the headlamp protector, which I really like. I love the look of that. I think it sets the bike off an absolute treat. And then the uh, what we've got down here is the uh, engine bars. Which look great, I think. Really set it off, but they also serve a really useful function in protecting the engine. Um, so we've got those on that side. And then the same on this side. As I say, functional, but aesthetically look great. So that's uh, what I've been doing. Oh, yeah, and of course, behind here, you can't see, is the DNA air filter that I fitted. And uh, there it is. That's uh, standard scram. Absolutely love this bike. Really love it. Does everything I want to do, it to do, and it does it in spades. So there you go, Royal Enfield Scram 411, aka standard scram. <laughs>